President Obama announced Tuesday the government will invest $100 million into research to map the human brain. They're calling it the Brain Initiative, which is actually an acronym, Brain Research Through Advancing Innovative Neurotechnologies. CNN reports the president compared the initiative to the Human Genome Project and set goals for the research. The goal is to unlock the secrets of brain disorders like Alzheimer's disease, epilepsy, and traumatic brain injuries. But MSNBC points out that's probably not his only incentive. This is not just a science project, it's a jobs project. Absolutely, and this is something that President Obama talked about in his State of the Union address, wanting to create jobs, create jobs for middle class Americans. So that is at the root of this to some extent. The New York Times reports the project is just part of a vast landscape of neuroscience research supported by billions of dollars in federal money. And the Obama administration deemed it a grand challenge of the 21st century. Despite the potentially controversial timing of the investment, with the sequester hitting and budget debates ongoing, Business Insider reports the project has already succeeded in one thing, in a positively stunning display of bipartisanship. House Majority Leader Eric Cantor has announced that he supports the $100 million government spending project proposed by President Obama. Looks like brain mapping research has lots of fans. Billionaire Mort Zuckerman told Bloomberg's Betty Lou why he has donated large sums of money to Columbia University's Mind Brain Behavior Institute. We'll be able to dramatically increase the number of different procedures that will improve all kinds of different and that just problems struck with you. the brain. And you said, this and is I said, well, this is a, this is the breakthrough. Once we can do that, we can have an accelerated rate of improvement of technology. Whomever their first subject, scientists will have access to the $100 million in federal funding in October of 2014. For Newsy, I'm Megan Murphy. Multiple sources, a broader view.